Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I filmed this quick look for you guys and to be honest I'm feeling like I got some Selena vibes going or something like that I just wanted to do a simple look and just do a wing and pop a red lip on and call it a day But um, I really really like the way it turned out if you'd like to see what products I use to get this look together keep watching so I've zoomed you guys in and pinned my hair back so I wouldn't be in the way. I did start my face off. I used the Urban Decay One and Done uh, Foundation in the color Medium. I also used this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Medium as well. I applied it under my eyes as well as on my lids as a primer. And then I did go in and set that in with this Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. My brows are filled and I used the Brow Stylist Definer. Um, by L'Oreal and this one is in the color dark brunette. So I'm thinking I want to go ahead and do a winged liner and a red lip and usually when I'm going to do that kind of look the lip is pretty bold so I will go ahead and keep my eyes pretty simple. So I'm gonna grab a fluffy brush. This has, it says blending crease brush. Um, I don't know where this came from though. But for this eye look, I'm gonna tap into this uh, Tarte palette and I pre-filled with a whole bunch of shadows. I have different ones in here. I have um, some that I depotted from the original Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette with Morphe and then I have some ColourPop. So I'm gonna grab this one here and this is Stay Golden by ColourPop. I'm gonna just tap my brush into it and apply this to my crease. Again, I'm gonna keep the eye pretty simple since my lip is gonna be pretty bold. Um, so that's what we are doing. So just all over the crease. And then just blend it out. So it's nice and seamless. Just to deepen that a little bit, I'm gonna go in to Makeup Geek's Bitten and again just lightly tap and that'll be in the outer corner very lightly. I'm not gonna go back in, I'm just gonna blend as much as possible because the more you add, these are super pigmented, so the more you add, <laughs> the darker it'll get and then we'll end up with like a fall smoky eye. And I'm ready for fall, but not for today's look, because I'm going somewhere after this. Okay, so I went ahead and did one eye, or finished off one eye, I'm gonna do the other. Um, and this is my struggle when it comes to makeup, because honestly, like, it's very rare for me to be able to, in one try, get both um, eyeliners, like, all, both wings to look the same. So, um, we're gonna try and see, and I'm using this brush here, this is the Angled Liner number 90 by Sephora. Um, really nice brush, very good brush. But I still mess up, so um, bear with me. I'm surprised I actually did it. <laughs> I took so much crap and I actually did it. It looks good. Uh, they match. Awesome. The liner that I used is this Gel Inglot liner um, in number 77. Realized I forgot to tell you guys that. And the lashes I'm using are these um, Salon Perfect Demi Wispies. Um, I do have several different kinds. I use pretty much different kinds all the time but these are the, my go-to's for like everyday looks because they're very very natural looking um, with the flare and they're very lightweight and super comfortable and I don't feel like they're poking me on the inner and outer corner of my eyes and the, the perfect size I don't even have to trim them While we let the lash glue dry out, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm. Look how pretty it is, and it's huge, right? And I'm gonna use this Moda Pro brush, uh, which is the Pointed Blush Brush by Royal and Langnickel. We got this in our uh, BoxyCharm box this month, and I've been using it for bronzing, and it's like really, really good. I'm 
And for blush, I'm going to use the Benefits California Blush. It looks like this. It is beautiful. And it honestly has been my go-to for a couple months. That's a motorcycle. I'm sorry. Um, it has been my go-to for a couple months since I got it. I've used other ones, but this is like beautiful. For highlight, I'm going to use uh, Tarte's Skin Twinkle, what is this, Volume 2? Yeah, Volume 2 highlight, and I'm going to use the color Candlelight, just to highlight the top of my cheekbones. A little bit of strobing. How pretty that is. Mm, I love it. But to finish off the eyes, I'm going to use the Falsies Push Up Angel, the purple one by Maybelline. And I'm just going to apply a little bit right to my natural lashes, just so that it'll blend in nicely with the Falsies. And then I'm going to apply some to the bottom. So they look like, like nice, thick, and flary. Okay, so that's the eyes. And now to finish it off, I'm going to grab a lippy. For the lips, to finish it off, I'm going to use this bright red. This is, a, this is one of the minis from ColourPop in the color Creeper. It's so pretty. It's like a like a candy apple red, so nice. So I'm gonna go for that color today. This is what Creeper looks like on my skin tone and on my lips. And yes, I did overdraw my lips just a little bit, but um, yeah, I have thin ones. I don't necessarily mind it, but today I wanted my lips to like, poof, like pop out at you. To finish off the look, I'm going to use this Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. I love how the mist is just even and it's not like so wet and in your face and it dries up very easily and you're not really wasting product. So I really, really love this spray. I've literally been using it nonstop. Okay guys, and this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check the description bar. I am going to go ahead and list all the products that I used on this look today, so you can go there for reference if you'd like. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.